IP mat, I am indoor blueprint. What can you expect in this paper? What are how many questions are going to be there? What is the level of difficulty? What are the pattern you have seen so far? And so there's not been a giant, uh, consistent level of data to look at because the paper has changed in format, style, length, duration, everything year on year. So I'm going to have a look at it to get a flavor for this. Extract whatever we can and look at the last two years with uh, greater detail. Okay. Lovely. Uh, the VRC section. Uh, it's reading comprehension and then appropriate word of usage. Rephrase the underlying part of the sentence. Fill in the blanks plus missing words. Inappropriate usage of words. Para jumbles. So apart from reading comprehension, there are generally five types of questions. Of which para jumble thing is more paragraph structure and uh, common sense and verbal ability comfort. Uh, rephrasing the underlying part of the sentence generally test grammar. The other three, most appropriate word or phrase, fill in the blanks, inappropriate usage of words, they're vocab testing with more vocabulary in context rather than raw vocabulary. But in some ways, it is about knowing meanings of words sitting inside sentences. And so, so vocabulary is indeed important. Contextual vocabulary is more important. That's how it should be. That's how it is in practically all exams. So taking a big word list and memorizing it is counterproductive, not, I won't say counterproductive. Is not that much value for time and frequently not useful. And so to understand how this word sits inside that context, that is important. What goes into quant? So the, the, the breakup in VRC, the reading comprehension section is usually the largest, but even that has changed from one year to next. So here there were far fewer questions. Uh, so this year only 30 questions, of which only six were from reading comprehension because the time pressure was amped up. It was a 30 minute section. Reading comprehension generally needs an investment of time before you see that you have to read the passage. So if there's extreme time pressure and it's the reduced time stretch exam, a 90 minute exam, then it's very likely that we'll see fewer reading comprehension questions. But it's a one hour section or a 40 minute section or a 45 minute session, chances are reading comprehension will get more weighted. Something to just keep in mind. Longer paper, more likely to have higher proportion from, from reading comprehension. They're clearly saying meanings in context. That is an important enough feature. So you can't stay away from that. Every likelihood that these questions are the ones that we answer in, in short time, in quick time. So in terms of time invested per question, these two categories, of all three maybe, but particularly these two, are going to be the easiest return for time invested. So that, that matters when you're looking at a section. Quant, there are two types. Theta, short answer questions with no negative marking and multiple choice questions with, with negative marking. This is plus four and zero negative. This is plus four and minus one. General ratio, one is to two. 10 questions here, 20 here, or 20 and 40 here. Arithmetic and modern math, um, well, uh, a big share of the questions. I would look at this very seriously. What do we mean by arithmetic? What are the topics that we, we think about? In, so percentages and profit and loss, speed, time, distance, and races pipes and cisterns work time, that category. Little bit of exponents, logarithm thrown into that. Uh, maybe simple interest and compound interest, ratios, mixtures and allegations. So classic quantitative aptitude testing topics. It's not heavy duty math, but uh, meaningful uh, substitution, simplifying and solving with several uh, numbers and variables. That goes into arithmetic. After this, what do we have? In modern math, we include number theory, which is factors, factorials, and reminders, uh, units, digit, the whole shebang. Then we include set theory, Venn diagram, A union, B union, C equation at that time, permutation, combination, and probability. That comes in. So that These two put together form a big pot. All other topics, which is basically geometry, coordinate geometry, trigonometry, mensuration, uh, inequalities, functions, uh, polynomials, quadratic equations, uh, cubic equations, and several other topics come into this part. Matrices and determinant, they all come into this part. Why am I classified like this? Uh, simple numeracy, basic topics, and a little bit of uh, number theory added together. You can handle a giant chunk of the process. More math heavy topics, algebra heavy topics. So uh, for, 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 for imagining equation of a circle, this is x square, y square sitting there. It's a heavy duty algebra and coordinate geometry allied together. Those will sit here. So if you're not really comfortable with the more algebraic mathematics linked topics, then this should be the main part. Luckily enough for us, that is the giant share overall in quant and a, probably a majority share in each of the two sections. Okay. 
what are the question categories we have seen in each of the years we have adjusted this question types uh, for the total number of questions. these are all adjusted for share of questions in each year otherwise not not comparable thanks to covid disruptions as well the number of questions in the sections have gone up and down uh, but what it clearly tells us that if we categorize into four parts number theory and set theory and permutation probability put into one pot arithmetic in one pot if you take these two in the bag then you can have a strategy where you don't have to worry about these two when you say geometry geometry questions are nice but the trigonometry mensuration coordinate geometry questions are are uh, i won't say really difficult but uh, and from trickier territory than, than geometry likewise in algebra you have functions when x's and y's come in sometimes it's just simple substitution reframing the question but sometimes it can get too complicated so you can skip not skip these two push these two to the back burner and attack these two and comfortably clear cut off and, and go places so the anyone who's preparing for this exam i would argue your strategy should be based on this this then these two if you are a commerce graduate and who's saying look i need to compete with all these guys who are preparing for it it should clearly be that because these topics the return on investment is not that great especially if you are preparing on a on a, on a cramped timeline it's anyway you can't it's very unlikely that you can attempt all the questions so if you pick your battles this should be sufficient to clear the cut off very comfortably and be in the mix for getting a good ats contribution from this okay. if you're a candidate who's preparing for je and therefore you're super comfortable with trigonometry coordinate geometry functions and inequalities and all kinds of stuff even then your strategy should be i'll attack these two then these two why because the, the time taken to answer a question from pipes and system on an average is going to be much lesser than the time taken to answer a question from trigonometry framed inside an equation and so so gravitate towards this then go towards that so attempt this this chunk attempts fifth, accounts for nearly 60% of the paper 60% of the paper is out of 25 questions if there are 25 questions 15 if you include the five from dilr and say look i want to attack that also it's two thirds of the paper if you have 20 relevant questions and you attack them and you attack maybe 15 16 of them and get 14 of them correct you are waltzing past the cutoffs you can clear the cutoff and get a good ats contribution from quant by focusing on arithmetic and modern math and then attacking the dilr question with garsho what do we define by arithmetic plus modern math the detailed list given here combinatorics set theory and probability come here this side functions inequalities polynomials quadratic equations linear equations is more doable matrices and determinants trigonometry mensuration geometry even from this list we've not had many, too many mensuration questions others are represented functions is more heavily represented but functions questions in the ip mat have not been impossibly tough if you're comfortable with the expression f of x plus f of y f of x square plus 1 then you should dabble with it it's not impossibly tough but still uh, not a topic that many may be comfortable with if you can break it into these two parts life becomes simpler one of this is what we've learned from uh, the ip mat paper especially in the last 2 3 years keep this in mind to carve your strategy uh, my bias uh, the, the key takeaway is if you have a longer paper then rc is likely to carry more weightage uh, getting comfort having super reading comfort is absolutely crucial for cracking this exam for quant focus on arithmetic and number system that should be sufficient Best wishes for you.